floodgates of heaven to open up on your heart. Can we lift our hands today and let's give the Lord our best praise. Lord, we thank you today for your love, for your grace and your mercy, for they are new every day. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us, a new day to worship you. And Father, we pray that in this service today, Lord, that you would have your way. Lord, through every song that is sung, through every word that's spoken, Lord, that it all be done to bring glory and honor to your name. Touch us, we pray, by the power of your spirit, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Can you give the Lord a hand clap and a shout of praise? He is I have known the Parnells for many years. When I was growing up at, at our home church in Van Buren, they would always come and, and minister every year during our camp meeting. And uh, we have become good friends with this uh, ministry team. And uh, some of them are family, and, and they're all a ministry family. But uh, we're so glad that they're here today, so glad that you're here. But most of all, we're thankful that the presence of the Lord is here. Amen. His word says, where two or three are gathered together in his name, that he's there in the midst of them. I'm going to ask the Parnells if they will come at this time to get ready to minister. And in the middle of the service, we're going to give them a break. And we're going to receive a special offering for them. And every part of that offering will go to support their ministry. And they have a product table out in the foyer. I encourage you to stop by and uh, take all of that home with you. They brought it all here from Van Buren, and I'm sure they don't want to take any of it back. Nope. So uh, we want them to have a sold-out store out there, and so we encourage you to stop by. They have a new CD project, and uh, trust me, you will be blessed uh, by their ministry today. How Assembly of God, would you put your hands together and make welcome here this morning the Parnells as they minister in song at How Assembly. God bless you. Amen. We're so glad to be in the house of the Lord today. And I'll tell you what, uh, those of you that missed summer school this morning, man, you should have been here. Yeah. I hope he's watching online because he had a great word from Coy. He just did an excellent job bringing the word of God to us. And I, I enjoy it. We don't get to go to summer school every place we go because they don't have it most of them. And uh, so we get in on a good summer school. My wife and I, we like to go. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, are y'all about ready to sing? Ready. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, y'all just get in and enjoy the Lord with us today. And worship however you worship. And uh, now Brother Coy gets up and starts running around the building. Don't worry a thing about it. He does it all the time. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. I want you to do a favor for me. I want you to put your hands together and give the Lord one more hand of appreciation. Yeah. 
was mentioning our products back there in the back. We appreciate that very much. We do want to tell you, we do have a brand new CD project that just came out in Father's Day, on Father's Day this year, and it's called The Cross Scene. And we're so proud of it, so glad that we were able, by the help of the grace of our God, to be able to get this uh, project finished uh, in uh, uh, this, what was March of this year, at least when we finished it, and we're able to get it back, and we thank God for it. We'd like for you to go back there and take a look at it, Matter of fact, all of the songs that we're singing today is on the project, maybe but one or two. And uh, uh, those, the project is a wonderful, anointed uh, project. And uh, I tell you, we really felt the presence of God in the studio in Baton Rouge. And I'm, I'm, I mean, God just really was there with us in the midst. And uh, we, we're so grateful for that. Uh, tell me some songs on that real quick, Christy, that we haven't seen. Or tell them whatever we say, whatever. We just did the song, More Than Anything. Um, how many knows the worship song, Goodness of God? That's on this. We're going to do that for you today. Uh, for Water, the Reason, written by Reba Rambo. And we've got, um, like, our, like he said, our single, All Not For The Crossing, is also on here. There's some really good songs on this, so y'all come back there and check this out today. We have it in CD form or what they call a thumb drive, flash drive is what they call it. You, you, some cars now don't you know, have a CD player in them, but they have a USB port. And all you got to do is, if you want this USB um, flash drive, all you got to do is just push it in that the little port and it'll start playing for you and it'll be the part of it. Hallelujah. And uh, so come back and see us. If you want either one of these, they're eighteen dollars each, whichever one you want. And uh, and then we have the older CDs. He never gave up. Faithful journey, um, giving him glory. We have all of those CDs in CD form. We've dropped the prices of these down to ten dollars each. And um, matter of fact, the song we sing, "Boy Go Gary Son," God knows, is one of our best songs. He, we've got so much request to sing that song where we go. And uh, and then also we have it in USB uh, format also. And uh, you can buy $10 each with the CDs or you can get a little better deal if you buy all four for $35. Or if you want the, this right here, all of the CDs, every one of those are on this USB port and it's $35 for this. So whatever, whichever way you want to go is great. We also have some... Uh, products like there's some shirts and things that we put together matter of fact this right here is the name of one of our albums it's the album before the crossing it's called he never gave up and on the front of it uh we put our name on there so you know if you're okay with advertising for us it'll be great but he never gave up on me is on the back of it and I'll tell you, I'm glad that he never gave up on me. Amen? And all the shirts on the rack back there are $20 each. And uh, we take uh, uh, credit, cash, and checks, however you want to pay today. And uh, we, we appreciate it so much. It will help our ministry. And spaghetti dinners. Yeah. And yeah, we take that too. Amen. Well, we're going to eat that here in a little while. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so, anyway, come back and see us after church is over. Uh, the ladies will be back there just uh, for about 10 or 15 minutes. So run right back there as soon as church is over and uh, see them. And then you can go on out and eat some spaghetti. Is that okay? Yeah. Or if you want to go eat spaghetti and then come back in here and get one, you can do that too. How you want to do it? Amen. So God bless you so very much. As Christy said a while ago, this next song we're going to sing for you this morning is a song that we decided to do something and step out uh, by faith. And uh, we decided that we wanted to try to put a song out on radio that we haven't done in a while. And so we did that uh, the 1st of June. I believe it wasn't Gary, 1st of June. We put this song out. This song is a great song. It was written by Joel Crabb. He let us have this song. It's never been a single uh, radio song uh, across the nation. And we were so privileged and he was willing and so kind and generous to be able to give us the song to record. 
And I, I, I hope that you will love it. Christy sings it. And let me tell you, folks, we Christy's a wonderful, anointed singer. How many believes that today? Say amen. Christy, come and sing this song. I'll not fear the crossing.
He was there when we were raising our two daughters. He was there when we were helping raise our grandchildren. He was there when I was in the hospital during the COVID. He was there. <laughs> He was there when my wife about 16 years ago had a tumor in her back left side under her shoulder blade. He was there. He was there, Christy, just not too long ago when my wife had to be taken to the hospital because there was such a bad infection in her gallbladder that they had to remove it instantly that day that she went. He was there. He was there. Somebody said, He is there. He is there. His mercy is great. His mercy is great. Pastor, I wonder sometimes how that people that are unsaved, that don't know Jesus, don't know the born to get experience, according to the Bible, King James Version is what I'm talking about. They don't know. I wonder how that in the midst of a, a, a spirit that God is moving, a, a move of God that, that He is, is that we're seeing and having today, no matter what is going on around us, we're still seeing a move of God. And Brother Coy, I wonder why and how the people could just not say yes. Every day. Every night before I go to bed, I ask my God, Lord, if there's any sin, if there's anything here in my life, forgive me. He said, well, Brother Charlie, you've been saved a long time. You better believe it. But I've never forgotten one thing. I'm just a man of flesh. And sometimes, just like you, Sometimes the flesh wants to sin. Sometimes the flesh wants to give in to the desires of this life. But oh, my friend, there's good news today. Yes. <laughs> we have Jesus. <laughs> Somebody look over to your neighbor and say, we have Jesus to go to. Yeah, Jesus. A song was written many years ago. And... Uh, Gary's going to sing this song for you this morning. And some of you will remember it and some of you may not because of your age. But the message you carried years ago, it still carries the same message today. And I don't know about you, but I believe today that our pastor here, Daniel, and his wife, I believe that they trusted the cross and they believe in the cross. They preached the cross. And without that, how can we be saved? And this song just tells us of a man's love for his creation, right? For his creation. He tells of a story. Matter of fact, the writer wrote it this way. It was the greatest love story that was ever told.
Yeah. Now those that ain't looking to go to heaven, boy, you don't miss out. I'll tell you what. This is our uh, one of our uh, friends. Actually, it's Christie's daddy. That's in his. Her mother is here today, along with a couple of aunts, Linda and uh, Nita. Nita. Help me out and get old, Nita. Amen. But this is his favorite song, I think. And I hope you like it too. Seems to be everywhere we go. The song just says, What a day. That will be.
I give some of you again may not know this song, but if you don't, you're going to. This is a great, powerful message. It just says, for what earthly reason would Jesus come and give us life?
want you to sing that with us today. And I want you to help us sing this song. If you have to clap your hands, if you don't know the words, that's fine. Just act like you do. And uh, the Bible says one day that Jesus is coming back to this earth. Yes, and he's coming for one reason, little boy. And that's to get his church. Yes, yes. That's to get the children of God and take them home with him to be in heaven. Yes. And brother, when I get there, he's going to get me and you and all of those that are saved by the blessed, precious blood of Jesus of a crown of life. Yes, and when I receive my crown in life, uh, Brother Watson, I'm going to walk all around God's promised land. Are you? Yes. Come on. 